Good afternoon. Please stick around to the end because we have some valuable information that we want to share if you're an investor or thinking about an investor or maybe have had some problems with some tenant issues in the, in the past. This video is for you because we got some great insights that's going to help you. So the issue that we want to talk about today, we come across a article on Facebook, Very Concerned Citizens. And we want to explain what has happened to this person. We've got some pictures in there and Diane's going to pull up the article and we're going to go through it. And again, stay tuned to the end because we got a valuable piece of information that's going to help you. Take it away. Okay. So this is what we both saw this morning, I think, right? Yeah. Let's read the whole thing. Cause it's, yeah, let's see the pictures and we'll talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. So, so this, this, this man, uh, 10 hours ago. Yep. Um, he's an older man. So I'll read what he says. Yeah, I think it's important. I just need to say I finally cleaned up my house in Barrie. I rented to someone who took advantage of my trust and left me in a mess financially for almost a year. I rented this to someone I guess I can't name who basically trashed my house, never paid rent, and left stinky garbage and dog feces all over the basement and backyard walls and door damage, et cetera, et cetera. It took six months to get a landlord tenant board order, which he lied and got another stay and then another. Meanwhile, I never got a penny rent while I still had to pay the mortgage, water, gas, and taxes. I'm 75 years old and I'm on a fixed pension. Just wanted to rent my house I shared with my wife before she passed as it was too hard to go up and down the stairs. Thanks to my one neighbor, Bill, for helping clean up with me. I couldn't lug all those bags. Let's stop there for one second. Just in the next, I want to say something to there and we'll continue reading. So this is what, and again, I wish you would have told us a story of, you know, it doesn't matter what, you know, how we got the tenant. Um, it's so important to safeguard your property. You heard the, you know, it took six months and then he got two more stays. This is typical. The landlord tenant board is always favorable for the tenants. They don't give a shit about the landlord's financial. Look at the pictures, Mark. Um, so it's important. Don't do this yourself. And we're going to share a good tip. It's crazy. It's horrible. It's horrible. I've seen worse, but it's horrible for a 75 year old man to come walking in to his property that he's got a lot of sentiment value with his wife there who passed. Okay. So I have to hand it to the sheriff for having to walk through all the smell and make him leave. They were polite to this guy, getting him and his buddy out of my house while I was losing my mind and wanted to punch him. The sheriff told me that this isn't the worst he's seen and gave me a six out of 10 for what my house was left like. Not the worst. He told me they had been to nine out of 10 where they almost couldn't walk into the house without throwing up. What the hell do people live like to be so filthy and cause so much damage? How sad has society become? I won't rent again. And speaking to other landlords, they won't rent again either. I read on this page and other pages how people, people complain that rent is too high. Look how much I had to endure and lose financially because of a bad apple. To find out by the sheriff that there are so many more all around Simcoe County and Muskoka makes me wonder why anyone rents at all. No wonder rent is high. I only charge this guy $1,600 a month for an entire house and look where that got me. Anyway, thank you sheriffs and my neighbors for keeping me calm. I don't know how you guys can do your job with what you have to see daily, but I still like your cowboy hat. So, you know, this is, we mean Dan have seen this for many years, this is uncommon from what we see, but you know, in the you can sense the frustration from that gentleman, right? Gave gave a house for sixteen hundred bucks that you can't even find a one bed apartment for. You know, um, big heart, obviously, and it's just this is the this is the new norm. This is it. I have a prospect that he gets his property back. I think he gets it back. Got the got the order on August thirty first. Time the sheriff gets is, is October. These people have been there, you know, for many many months unpaid, and I'm sure the property when I walked through it back in May, it wasn't pretty. I can just imagine how he's going to get it back. 
there's no repercussions. And, and I think that's why we're seeing a lot of people, investors exiting the rental game. There's no advantages to it. Well, no, it's also it. very, very hard. Um, it's harder to sell investment properties. No one wants them. Who wants them today? You have one. You finally got a deal done. And I thought you were priced fine. How many weeks were you listed? Almost two months. Two Eight weeks, two months. Five years ago, Dan, that property would have been gone in a week, two days. And you probably would have got, five years ago, I think you would have got more for that property than what you got for today. I, we would have. Would have. We would have. Would have. So yeah. this is, so the demand has really dropped off, right? I mean, anyone, how many but people? But you can't blame people with what's going on. You can't blame them at all. It's 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 the wild west out there, and and the landlords are absorbing these high costs of paying the mortgages, taxes. A lot of them don't pay the water, and I'm I'm not stereotyping every tenant. It probably feels like I am, but I'm not. But I'm doing these videos to safeguard investors. That I am. Well, and and I've talked to a few people that I know that are renting that went straight through the landlords and none of them were asked for credit checks. None of them were asked for uh, letters from other landlords. Right. right. A lot of land, a lot of private landlords. They're not asking for any of that stuff. They're not. And they might've had some great success. Only, you know, they got lucky over the years and they've had some great success. So they're, they're going on gut only. They don't know anything else differently. So I hope that viewer that's watching our channel for the first time, Hey, Listen to this because it's going to happen, right? Well, the problem is I think tenants are are worse now than they used to be because they know they can get away with it. 100%. That's the bottom line. Whether in there so, Mark, getting... you and I have talked about open room more than once. Here's the big tip, folks. Pay attention. Yes. I'm going to walk attention. you through this to make it that easy to safeguard. And everybody should be doing this no matter what. This is a great tool. Well, and it's a great tool, you know, to help each other out and to protect each other. So it's called Open Room. And all I have to do, you can enter a name or an address. Tell about Open Room before you, you do that. Just give so me a So Open vote. Room is you, but you have to have court documents. Correct. So you can post what happened between you and a tenant and basically report them. And now they're on a registry of names of having a tenant with a problem. Right. So up here, upload court order. Right. So you can search or these are the stuff that's current. Um, there's 18,926 all court orders in open room right now. Mm -hmm. 2165 court order issued in 2024. Okay. So if I go in here, so it's an ever growing crowdsource of court orders, which enable you to search our engine, track unpaid debt, get legal advice, learn with us. So it's a whole big thing here, right? That yeah. they can help you out. But if you're if you have a tenant that's applying, you can put their name in and see if anyone's ever uploaded anything. So if I just put in Barrie, Ontario, okay. So I'm I'm as the tenant says the landlord, the file number, and you can view the court order. Let's look at it. Let's go through this. This is really good information. It tells us that when this hearing took place, adjudicator Trish Carson, hearing date, 2023, April. Let's see. Read it out. Hold on. It doesn't really work. What do you mean? It didn't actually go to a court. They they actually solved it before it got there. All right. Go through another one. That's okay. So that doesn't kind of help us, does it? We'll kind of go through it. We'll know the same adjudicator in January 19th of last year. Let's see what this one is. See what they want to do. Filed by Level 3. 
turn to evict a tenant uh, because tenant entered into an agreement to determine the tenant's application. Same thing. Yeah. So we want to find one where it's not paid. We just want to go through it. Um, all of the, all it says is the tenant shall for. They're saying the tenant, basically. They agreed. Well, finally, I guess they agreed to leave. So they probably got cash for keys. Okay. Right? Okay. Coleman Drive. So this is worthwhile. You may need to spend some time to find, but if I know if I had an investment property, I would be searching all the time and seeing if I could find any information on these tenants. Evict tenancy, evict the tenancy, glut because the tenants entered agreement to terminate the tenancy. Oh, so they agreed to an N11 and they didn't do it. So then they went to court and they were they were told they have to leave. Okay, so let's explain that, Dan. So explain what the N11 is. So if an, an, an N11 is the agreement that I go to my tenant and I say the property has been sold or whatever, or I want to sell it and fix it or whatever, and you agree to end the tenancy. And I might say, well, I'll give you $2,000 to end the tenancy or give you an amount of money to end it. You have to give one month's rent regardless. Right. Back, not just the last month. You got to give one month. Mm -hmm. And then um, you agree to end it on, say, uh, September 30th, but then you don't leave. Right. Does that, does that order that you looked at, did it show the time when they've agreed? Did it give it dates? I wouldn't mind seeing if it gave. Let's go back to it because I wouldn't mind showing the audience that how much time. So, yes, we agreed that we're going to part company. No, we're not leaving now. And then it could be four months later. This is what I want to see because this is, this is you know, when someone's selling their home, we've encountered, Dan and me have both encountered this many times where they refuse to leave and then we have to extend the closing dates. And this really impacts the house sale and families moving into the home. So we just, I'd like to see. Um, okay, so that was- February. Ten, February turned as of February. And then they sent the application, 10 C2 lovers that must move out rental unit. They didn't. Unit is not vacated. March, starting March our second, the landlords we filed this. And, they, have, uh, they didn't even have to have a court date because they agreed. It's saying that- it was automatic. They didn't need a hearing. They have to be out by March 21st. Okay. So they agreed upon it. And then they, did they say anything about the sheriff then or no? This application was considered without a hearing being held. They didn't need a hearing because they already agreed to leave. Okay. Let's go to one more. Just since you, I'd like to find one with the, similar to this guy's case where a non-payment rent would be great. Oh, amount of 33897 oh, great. Bingo, bingo. So the hearing date. So this is back in 2022. What's the people's name? Landlords filed by landlord not payment rent and for amount owed $33,187. So uh, landlord. So here's the tenant's names right there. This is what folks need to be looking at. Okay. Because they're going to rent again. Okay. That's an, this is a real estate agent, eh? Is it really? The landlord is. Okay. Let's yeah. see the thousand. Go back up. Oh, yeah. Let's see the 33,000. How much further down? I want to see something. So the N4 was filed. I want to put this timeline together. So N this is a COVID time. So N4 was filed. Rent was $2,200 a month. Every day is $72.33. The, well, the tenants have not made any payments since the application was filed. Um, the rent arrears owing to July 31st, 2022 are 30395 That's a year and a half. A year and a half. So the year and a half, they haven't paid rent. Mm-hmm. So this is how long, again, this is COVID time, so it was even longer. This is what happens. So guess who's paying the $33,000? If you don't have money put aside for stuff like this as a landlord or a new landlord, you need to start having a slush fund because it is going to happen. It's just the cost of doing business. Mm -hmm. But they, uh, I, I, think, I think the thing is with this, you don't sit here and search through, Mark. You don't sit here and let's search through. 
what you do is put their names in if you had a name, right? Or an address. Yeah. Is so you should have you should be asking them to fill out a rental application. Correct. If you fill out a rental application, um, they should put their last residence. Yes. Or their last two. Correct. Two is even so, better. So you you enter their names and then you enter their addresses and you do a search. Because you yes. can't sit here and search through every one of these. It would be forever. I know. They have names. Um, we mainly did this just so, you know, show how easy it is to, you know, to do this. Right. But I'm 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 in awe, Diane, when I'm seeing 2165 court order. This this open room is catching on big time. This is a great form for landlords and one and you know new landlords because to me it's a game changer because we me and you both know ltb is doing nothing to safeguard well and i and i think that people that have been really screwed around they need to use these forums oh, i agree because mm -hmm. you know it, it if everybody would get on board then every they're everybody's helping each other and protecting each other i agree it's like a little community and that's how it started right and there's lots of them you go to Facebook, you see I, I'm involved in a few where I'm sit, seeing stories all the time, right? And one girl was talking the other day about frontlobby.ca2 is another one, right? Update the credit bureau, update them. Because every yeah. landlord today wants to see a credit, wants to see a credit bureau. I you know. Got payment of rent. Sorry. So I I I think if if more as this catches on, this will make it, you know. Harder for people to get into rental properties today, and I, and I don't you know too bad, so sad, right? Well, I do feel bad for the good tenants because there's a lot of them out there that get and they're getting screwed around by the bad ones. But for sure, for unfortunately, sure. that's part of life, right? Where are we living today, right? So, um, yeah, I don't think I got anything else. I think that gave some viewers some good tips. So. Yes. Like these tips, follow for more information. Um, subscribe. And hold on. If you're gonna if you are gonna try it yourself, then you should have a rental application which you can download online. You should be using an Ontario standardized lease. You should be asking for credit scores. You should be asking, you can even ask for bank statements that show that they paid their month every their rent every month on the first. Tell okay. them they can black out everything else. For sure. You've got to do but you can get a Sharpie and black out everything else, but we want to see that you've been paying con consistently. What a year. Um, yeah. And get employment letters, pay stubs, like do yeah. some background check for crying out loud. Take your time doing this. And Mark, don't worry about the references because it's their mother or their sister or their brother. So I know, I know. That's, that's exactly I don't it. even call them, eh? What what for? I know. Would I, I put, would I put somebody's name down that's going to say something bad? No. Well, even the landlords, we do that. But I, me and you can check to see if it's the actual landlord through Geo, through our systems. But, you know, um, not everybody has that option. But Exactly. But, but anyway, um, subscribe for more information. Leave a comment. Hey, got a story to tell? Let us know. Like Perfect. To hear. Hey, see you. Bye.